Hi guys. Wow. I am, um, I think, slightly in shock. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm here today with a slightly different video, but an absolutely, oh my gosh, exciting one for me. I can hardly, this not not unusual for me, but I can actually hardly contain my excitement. This is awesome. <laughs> I'll get round to it in a second. I've done this video three times now and every time I've had to stop and start again because I just get so excited. I've, I've bumbled my way through it. Um, this is a batch of papers from the fabulous Antique Papery on Etsy. Links below guys. I heard about this shop quite a while ago from Gail Agostinelli. Link below. And I thought, right, I'll go over and I'll have a look. She was, I think it was when she was doing a collaging thing. Um, I think she was doing an altered book, weren't she? Um, I'm pretty sure it was when she was doing her altered book. And she was using, she was collaging every, every page. I think she used them and mentioned them a lot then. Anyway, I popped over to the shop and straight away, mind blown, like, oh my gosh, where do I start? Because every single kit that I saw, I wanted. And it was, I don't want it, I need it. I didn't. <laughs> but... It was like, I need that, oh wow, I need that, I can use that for such thing. Oh, I need that, I, I'm doing a, such a journal. Oh my gosh, I need that, I just need the lot. Very, very reasonably priced, guys. But at the time, I was on a spending ban, which is probably about, well, not say about right, probably a good thing, um, because if not, I'd still be on one now. So I left it for a while, I kept looking back and drooling and then coming away and then going back and drooling and coming away and then thinking, right, just pick a few that you know you absolutely desperately need to do a kit with. And I couldn't decide, so I'll come away from the shop before you just buy everything for the sake of buying it, come away from the shop. <laughs> so I did, and then I went back and again and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then one day I went to the shop, actually after... Um, Post it, copying the link from that to Michelle in Facebook chat saying, look at this shop, this is awesome. Um, and I noticed in the top corner of the announcements on her Etsy page, a little call out to YouTubers to help promote her shop. And I was like, oh, what's this about? I probably won't get anywhere. I've not got very many subscribers and I don't, you know, I do journals, but I don't tend to, until recently, I haven't really been videoing them or anything because not so much lack of confidence, but I don't know. I just never really got round to it. I've got half a dozen journals stacked up there that are complete and I just haven't done flip throughs or anything of them. So I thought, right, I'll message her and I'll see what it's all about. So I messaged her. She's absolutely lovely, guys. She really is. And she messaged me back saying, basically, if you want to come on board, fine by me, come on board. You get the digi prints, digi kits, you get links once a month to all new things that she's created, and all that she asks for in return that obviously we make things, or I, sorry, not we, well, anybody who applied. Um, make things with their digitals and just basically drop the link to the Etsy shop in the comments. Um, and it was like, wow, really? She but she didn't specifically say you needed to do videos of what you're making, but a video of a, like a, a show and tell and then drop the link. But I'll be doing videos like normal anyway. But just amazing, guys. So I was in a whole world of oh my gosh did she really just say yes am i actually now officially on somebody's design team because i only started my journaling journey last year around this time last year in 2018 and it was like mm. when i set out to do it i was just happy if somebody noticed me let alone bought a journal commissioned a journal or anything which i've had two so far thank you ladies um commission journals that is but yeah and then 
I was sort of like setting out goals and everything early on this year. Not straight after Christmas, but early on this year. And it was like, right, to try and get out there a bit more, I need to do more videos, obviously. Um, like craft with me videos, tutorials. Then started tutorial Thursday once a month and other things besides. I have been a bit lacking lately, guys, because life's been hectic. Um, I did have a bit of a lack of confidence at one point and a bit of a crisis in, crisis in confidence as well. And I'm like, nobody's ever going to love my stuff when they're compared to all these other people. But then Tracy Fox, being the amazing woman that she is, around the time I was feeling, oh, what's the point? Um, she set out a challenge in her Foxy Crafters group for everybody to go and find YouTube channels under 100 subscribers and post the links and share the love. I was over 100 subscribers, but I knew just the people, like one person in particular, which was um, Jeanette Dawkins, which is Crafty Dork over on YouTube. Links below. Um, she'd just started out, I'd been watching her, so this is amazing, and before she started a YouTube channel, I already knew her anyway, because through Tracy Fox, not Tracy Fox herself, or the group herself, but we'd kind of seen each other's posts and videos and stuff, well, she'd seen my videos, on Tracy's group, followed the link and watched them on YouTube, and she contacted me on one of my YouTube videos about possibility of doing a journal swap, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And it was. It really, really was absolutely amazing. Um, well, I'll try to find it, but it's up there under another load of stuff. Um, but there are, if you go to my playlist and go to Happy Mail, there is a flip through of the journal that Jeanette sent. And I am still working on her journal to get it sent to her. She knows. Um, I have her on my friends list, personal friends list anyway, as well as business. So she knows everything that's going on in the background at the moment. She's very, very understanding. And I love you to bits, Jeanette. I really do. You're awesome. Thank you for being so patient. She sent my journal, even though I told her when she said she'd finished it. And I said, well, I haven't got around to doing yours yet because such and such things happening. She sent it anyway. She said, I'm not bothered. I'll send it anyway. I can wait and I'll send it anyway just to cheer you up. And oh my gosh, it really did. <laughs> Um, but I'm sorry you're still having to wait, Jeanette. But as you can, as you've noticed on my my personal Facebook, um, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, and things are about to start looking up as well. So, yay. Um, but yeah, sorry guys. You'll get to know a bit later on more about that. Um. But in the meantime, back to Antique Papery. This isn't a video expressly about them. It, you know, I haven't been asked to do this video from them or anything like that. But this was just me saying, oh my gosh, I'm on a design team. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> that's basically the top and bottom of it. I just needed to tell somebody. I'm just completely in shock. I was just, oh, wow. Um, but yeah, like I said, Tracy did her event around the time I was thinking, what's the point? Nobody's going to be interested. I found these wonderful YouTubers, posted Jeanette's link. People went over and subscribed. Um, I went and subscribed to a lot of these other small time YouTubers. And of course, like many of us do, they return the favour and subscribe to us. So I were um, viewing as well as subscribers went up and I have a whole new plethora of followers now who are actual genuine followers because the journal junk journalers and love what we do so that's absolutely amazing and I do still frequently get private messages through social media not YouTube through other social media like Facebook and Instagram asking can you do a craft with me can you do this can you blah de blah de blah and I'm working my way through the list guys I really am thank you so much um, but yeah, but oh my gosh, one of my goals was at the beginning of the year was, like I said, when I did it was to build up the YouTube channel by doing more videos and journals and stuff before I had my crisis of confidence and then Tracy boosted it again <laughs> or Tracy's community boosted it again, um, with the following and the subscribers boost oh my gosh it was way over 100 in the space of 24 25 days in that month it were amazing it just went <laughs> um 
in a good way. But yeah, so I thought, but like I said earlier on in the year, one of my goals for this year was to build everything up and then maybe try and not so much toot my own horn or anything like that, but maybe try and get onto somebody's design team, even just as a guest design team. And I know Tracy puts them out there every now and then, which was awesome. I missed her last one because we was on holiday again. <laughs> um, yeah, she did one last year and we were on holiday then as well. I couldn't enter last year's either because I was under the subscriber limit. This year I was, I was over the subscriber limit but we were on a holiday around the time the videos needed to have been filmed, uh, made and published, and I was like, no, not that I had, not that I was guaranteed to be picked anyway, but I could have at least entered. <laughs> nope, never mind. So I laughed. I've just thought that one was really funny. I'm like, yeah, come, just my luck. But yeah, it was like I, I don't know. It was one of them. To me at the time, an impossible goal because I'd never thought it were ever going to be possible, but I wanted something to aim for to keep me going. Um, but then, like I said, I've found inner announcements on Etsy, Antique Papery, this call out for YouTubers, and it was like, mm, I wonder, probably not in We Are Shot, but at least part of my goal, like half of the goal that I wanted this year, was to at least apply to be a design team member so I got that goal done so straight away as soon as I sent the email it took me an hour to send it I had it all typed out and then I'm thinking do I send it do I not well it were actually an Etsy conversation but I'm thinking do I send it do I not I asked Shell a couple of times does it sound okay should I reword it do you think I should do it is it too much commitment oh uh, you know and it well she's like just send it just press send so I did I just closed my eyes and went click and it went through and then I'm like oh my god how can I retract it how can I get it back should I send her an email say sorry I made a mistake she's like calm down calm down um this is my best friend basically Michelle over at Shell's cards coloring and crafts links below but yeah <laughs> and then not long after very shortly after I received the reply back saying welcome aboard and I'm like oh what wow but yes yeah, so she's since then taken the announcement off her etsy store so i assume she's got enough people i am i am i'd be very very surprised if i was the only one that was accepted but either way thank you so much sherry um but yeah amazing 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 and these are what I printed off, I was like a mad woman. I was honestly, I was like a kid at Christmas going, what do I want? I went back to the same thing going, oh my gosh, what do I print off? What do I not? What do I want? <laughs> so I stuck to some that I thought I would definitely be using within the immediate future. And this is a few of them. Now, I'm just going to quickly flip through them with you. <laughs> there are tons. I received links to all of her kits in her Etsy shop. I'm not sure how many kits she has in total, but I can tell you that in total, the amount of pa individual papers, if I was to print every single one of them off, would result in 1,147 pages of pieces of paper. So I'm like, oh my word, and that's just what's in her Etsy shop. That's not including what I'm going to get, the links to whatever she's made that I'm going to get every month from now. So, wow, thank you so much. Such an amazing, amazing opportunity. And all she keeps saying is in her conversations, there's no rush, take your time. As long as when you've made something, you are more than happy to post our links and tag us and blah de blah you are more than welcome to stay on the design team basically promoter kind of thing I, I like to call it design team <laughs> but yeah it's like oh, what so yes I am more than happy and I'm not making anything right now but I'm showing off these amazing prints <clears throat> so these are the ones I've printed off so far this one is antique antiqued style papers actually put that to one side because i'm gonna need it and they like more writing than anything right oh they're just gorgeous so um these have been printed on normal normal uh, printer paper 
so A4 printer paper because I'm in the UK and I've done them full page like print to page so actually these were printed borderless because my printer thought it was printing on photo paper, matte photo paper and it wasn't so they actually printed borderless and at best quality and killed my ink but never mind but yes they still turned out great they're probably not as vibrant as they would have been if they'd have been on um, matte photo paper but they are still amazing I love them I love them I haven't bothered printing both sides because I figured I'm just gonna cut these up and use them for collage some tags or that sort of thing but yes they are just so cool I love them I love 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 them so that is the antiqued papers one and then I saw this kit and straight away I just knew it were fate it would just I don't know it to me it would just it was meant to be I showed Michelle and she said the same she's like yeah it was meant to be it was your destiny <laughs> um, this kit is called Bella Rosa paper set Bella Rosa grandbaby number three who I refer to as pumpkin is called Bella Rose so it's like oh my gosh this kit and yeah so whatever I do I will be using this kit first I really will my first like project with antique paperies papers will be using this kit because it was just meant to be and it's a beautiful kit as well such beautiful colours they're all like my style colours as well a lot of shabby chicness about it as well as vintage and I don't really do vintage very well but I don't need to with these kits they're amazing perfect for collaging because of the way they're created there's just everything about these is amazing amazing I mean just that alone just kind of cut around like that of make an awesome journaling card and then you'll see a theme going on here guys because it's all roses and butterflies <laughs> butterfly house sheets this is that kit the butterfly house sheets kit and of course collage style so perfect Look, it kind of gives me uh, reminds me of the watercolour effect bleeding effect that I were doing the other day with the tea coffee dyeing papers beautiful I love butterflies and of course I love roses look at that guys stunning I love it I just love everything about it oh, honestly guys when I got a reply back saying welcome aboard I nearly cried I actually nearly cried I never thought I never thought she'd say yeah but it would just you know one of them it's an impossible goal but if I don't do it if you know if I don't try I'll never know Wow, <laughs> just wow so that's the that was the butterfly house I think wasn't it yeah butterfly house that one was <clears throat> again like I said these are on um, normal printer paper are they they feel a bit thicker them are on normal printer paper they are these aren't these ones no they are on normal paper I'm just checking because I know I did print some on thicker paper did I yeah them ones right so these are all on normal paper this one this set too country garden papers again more collage type effect just move the camera it's easier moving the camera than the papers <laughs> i mean focus yep beautiful colors absolutely beautiful vibrant colors again this is country garden papers again with the roses and butterflies just beautiful love it so much to do with these so many ideas just wow absolutely stunning <clears throat> this is 
these are now all of these have now been printed on um, matte photo paper or like not cardstock but like presentation style paper this is the ephemera sheet collection which is awesome again collage cool music music in everything i love this one i love how vibrant that red is it's just just gorgeous and speechless most of these a map so that's that one and then this i love this lush forest papers and oh my gosh it really is lush it really is now i did this and got it to print borderless and because hers are i believe they are i haven't wrote it on here on the tickets but i believe yeah the eight and a half by eleven which is american size Whereas we are English size, which is um, I can't remember what ours is. I can't remember what ours is. When I had this set to print borderless, on my print preview there was a gap at the bottom and a gap at the top, so the print was in the middle. When it printed, it scooted the graphic up. And the gap from the top and the bottom is now at the bottom, which is awesome. So instead of a gap at the top and a gap at the bottom, I now just have this strip at the bottom, which will be cool to cut off and use as a scrap. But I still get the full print. But, oh, just look at this. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Definitely right with the lush, lushness. Beautiful colours, colouring. Again, like I said, the collage effect. Everything she does is like a collage effect. It's awesome collage watercolour effect. It's just absolutely stunning. And here in the UK, I don't know about elsewhere, but here in the UK, ev I'll say every one of them, I think there could be a few that aren't, but 90% of her digital kits are under a pound each. so just wow very very affordable very worth it very very stunning and extremely worth it and then we've got oh no now we move on to the um i printed quite a bit of these um different ones because i'm going to do a um ocean style um, like sea themed ocean style mermaid journal so these are amazing for that um, there's a couple of kits and I printed them differently I didn't print them all full sheet some of them I didn't some I didn't let me focus again I don't think we are right so this is the gorgeous o Oceana papers they really are gorgeous again they were printed full um, Borderless, that's it. How stunning is that? And again, they're on like presentation paper. These ones are on more like presentation paper. It's not the matte photo paper, but it's kind of the same thickness and quality. It's just a bit more. These have a bit more um, creamy. That's it, a creamy colour to the papers. They're not white, they're not like a yellowy colour they're more cream but yeah they're oh the images on these are stunning they're gonna make beautiful pages in a book massive seahorse on that beautiful gorgeous blue whale I think that's a blue whale <laughs> the colour is so vibrant as well 
Oceana, octopus, squid, whatever. I love it. So that's that one. And then this is the Mediterranean Papers. Again, eight and a half by 11. But what I did were, I printed all the six, I think the six pages. Yeah, I printed all six pages, which should be, each one of these should be this size. It should be eight and a half by 11. But I printed each, all six pages, four to a sheet which is why there's four on there and two on there. So I shrunk them down to be able to use as journaling cards or tags or whatever. But they are equally as stunning. Focus. Oh dear. Oops. Come on camera. There we go. It's done it. But yeah, they are equally as gorgeous. But instead of printing them full page, I printed them four to a page. So I got two pages with two left over. Beautiful. But printed full size, they are eight and a half by eleven. I did the same with this kit, and this kit is Mediterranean Paper Set 2. Just look at them, so stunning. Hydrangeas, we've got hydrangeas growing in our front garden. But just beautiful, absolutely beautiful papers. I like that, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> but yeah, so that was that kit. Again, like I said, printed. Printed individually, they are 8.5 by 11 sheets, but I printed 4 to a page. Then we have this set, which is Antiqued Maps style papers. Again, 8.5 by 11 size individual sheets. I printed 9 to a page, but there's only 6, pa six papers, so these have come out a little bit smaller. I was thinking for smaller journaling cards. Come on camera, wake up. There we go, which is so cool. Just some little maps. And then we have the last one, which is Old Menu Titanic Number no. 1. Excuse my writing, it's a bit rubbish. But this is this one, and I printed two to a page, so I've got three sheets here, because each kit tends to have six pages in. Printed full size, again they are 8.5 by 11 sheets, but I have printed two to a page. So, and they are like Titanic menus. So cool. But I shall be using all of these nautical themed ones and turning them into a journal. So, yes, guys, oh, my gosh, just wow, just that little bundle there is from Antique Papery. And I am so honoured to be part of the promoters, as they were saying, but more, I'd say, design team member, I would imagine, because basically what I'm going to be doing. Um, but, yeah, I am, like I said, I'm so honoured and I'm so, like, oh, still in shock <laughs> i am still in so much shock it's unbelievable but yes so thank you so much sherry over at antique papery um and just thank you michelle <laughs> thank you so much to my mate michelle for pushing me for making me do it <laughs> um yeah amazing 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 so guys um keep an eye out on the channel because there will be many videos to come of me using these kits and others besides. So, awesome. I will love you and leave you guys. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.